Hi guys, this is a follow-up video with regards to the Remote Play app that I showed you the other day. Now what I've managed to do, I've managed to get a workaround so that you can carry on using your PS4 controller with your second screen on your phone or on your tablet or whatever else you, you download the app on. What you need is you need to have two accounts set up on your PS4. Sorry guys. You need to have two accounts set up on your PS4. So, if we go and I show you my PS4, there you can see I've got two accounts set up. You need to be logged in as your primary account, the one that you want to use for the remote play. So that's what you need to do. You need to be logged in on your PS4 as that. Then, with the remote play app, you log in as the other user. So we'll open up the app on the phone. There you can see the app there. Hopefully you can see it's the remote play app. So we'll open up the app on the phone and I'll show you what it does on the screen on the PS4. So we'll go next. It starts connecting and it says there remote play using and that's showing the other user but as you can see on my remote play screen we've actually got what was already on the screen and if we go left and right with the controller we're using the ps4 controller we're logged in as my primary account and you're able to use the ps4 controller in order to do whatever you want to do. So there you go guys, that's the workaround. I'll put a description in the, well, I'll, put, I'll put details down in the description even, um, exactly telling you how you need to do this. But that's great, it means I can now use the PS4 controller. It does limit you to within the Bluetooth range of your PS4, so, but it has got quite a good, you know, quite a good range. Um, I've taken this downstairs, I've taken it down um, outside even. I don't know the exact range, I'm having to work that around and see how far away I can get. But it does, as long as you've got Bluetooth connection with your, with your PS4 and you can carry on using the controller, it means other people can use the screen. Um, if, you, if someone else wants to watch the TV and wants to watch something else, you can effectively then use this as your second screen as for your playing the PlayStation 4 on. Um, so that's a, that's a workaround for that. Um, I am looking into finding a way of actually getting a controller connected to this so that you can use the remote play with a controller when you're not within Bluetooth range of your PS4. Haven't figured that out yet, haven't got that to work yet, but when I do, I'll put another video up for that. So if this has been helpful, if you've liked the video, go down, thumbs up, subscribe. This is a new channel that I'm starting. My name is Jimby. Um, and there'll be plenty of more videos coming up, whether it's to do with remote play, whether it's to do with games that I've played and reviews of those games, whether it's to do with my Xbox One even as well, because I've got both consoles. Going forward, plenty more videos to come. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.